Damn it, Costco, you've done it again. Change is coming to the free samples at Costco. So are bigger outlets, new products, and bigger deals. Here are 16 big changes coming to Costco in 2024. See which ones have come to your local Costco already and which ones to soon expect. Give me my Costco card. A la carte. Do you have a small grocery cart? Big shopping trips at big stores mean one thing. You've got to have a big cart. Costco's mega-sized shopping experience lends itself to buying in bulk, and having enough cart space to push around everything you've bought just makes sense. According to surveys from 2023, Costco customers spend an average of $100 every trip and typically do so on a bi-weekly basis, adding up to about 30 trips every shopping year. To accommodate this, Costco's signature line of shopping carts has been a big help over the years. But by December of last year, and just in time for the calendar to change over to 2024, some shoppers noticed a change in their carts. And it seems Costco's on a mission to upgrade the whole shopping cart fleet in this coming year. Depending on where you're located, some stores might have had them for a few months, while the literal full rollout may not have reached every store nationwide yet. So add to carts? Visually, they're not that different, but design tweaks have shifted the center of gravity as well as made the basket deeper to help fit everything on a long shopping list. While some early reviews noted the carts ride like a dream, that might simply be due to having brand new carts that haven't put up with years of being beaten up and worn down by steadfast shoppers and their bulk buys. And it seems there are more negatives than positives the longer the new designs are in use. Complaints include the removal of cup holders that now force the food court to be the last stop instead of the first. It also seems the larger cargo volume has forced the kid's seat to a shorter depth but a higher overall reaching height, which then puts the cart handle too high for average customers to get proper push-in leverage. And push it! Push it! Members only. My very own Costco membership card! Unlike any old grocery store across the USA, you can't just stroll into Costco for a loaf of bread and a quart of milk on your way home from work. Photo ID memberships are required to shop, and it's been an integral part of the company's business model from the very beginning. Costco's roots stretch back to California in 1976 and a retail concept warehouse called Price Club, which required a membership to access the warehouse and all its lower-priced items. Unlike today, Price Club was strictly wholesale to members of the business community. But by 1983, it was open to public membership with the opening of its first official Costco wholesale in Seattle, Washington. Hope you brought your Costco card. A decade later, both the Price Club and Costco sides merged in 1993 into the worldwide mega membership you know today. By 2017, Costco had 90 million active memberships sold and was up to 105 million by 2020. A year later, in 2021, they surpassed 111 million, and by the spring of last year, the number was still climbing to reach 124 million. But all those millions looking to save some moolah? need proof of membership to do so, and they'll have to do it more strictly in the year ahead. And I will give them my Costco card. ID at the door to enter the store. Let's share a Costco card! The Costco membership ID has typically been shown at checkout to verify identity. But as early as January this year, customers have noticed a change. A national crackdown requiring matching photo ID at checkout started as soon as June 2023. But likely due to employees seeing too many grumbling customers, enforcement quickly became lax. According to Costco's customer service homepage, quote, To better protect your account, we require your photo to appear on your membership card. Since the membership card is non-transferable, this acts as an extra security measure should your card ever get lost or stolen. So a quick scan at checkout will no longer suffice your shopping needs. Now, dedicated staff await your arrival at entryways to match up your card with a government-issued photo ID to make sure it's you and only you saving a buck. It doesn't even have a first name. It just says McLovin. A company spokesperson stated to the Dallas Morning News last summer that, quote, We don't feel it's right that non-members receive the same benefits and pricing as our members. So getting what you pay for now applies to memberships as well as bulk buying benefits. Four days after Netflix cut down on password sharing in 2022, streamers purchased 100,000 new memberships, suggesting that if we really want something, we'll pay for it in the end. If even Netflix is cutting down on password sharing, we suppose Costco doing the same thing for membership sharing couldn't have been far behind. But that's not going to help me when I am down to a Costco card. More money, more problems. I don't want peace. 
I want problems always. Costco memberships do, in fact, save you money. But soon enough, in 2024, it'll cost you more if you want to save more. Much like the revised Netflix memberships, Costco memberships also operates in a tiered system. The standard-slash-basic level comes with a fancy name, as you can be a Gold Star member for a $60 annual fee. Above that is the Executive Membership, with double the annual price tag at $120 a year. If you're a business owner, there are two tiers on that side, with the same costs, business membership and business executive membership. Aside from the shopping savings, benefits for all members include deals on fuel at Costco gas stations, travel bookings with Costco Travel, discounted Costco pharmacy medications, and entry into the Costco Auto Program. Costco has doctors now. The big winner, however, is the 2% cash back offered on the executive card, getting you two bucks back from every hundred dollars spent at Costco, up to 1,000 total dollars per year. Year. But an old saying goes that you gotta spend money to make money, and the cost to access member benefits will soon cost you more out of pocket. Costco's chief financial officer stated in September of last year that it's a matter of when, not if, a cost of membership increase is on the way to Costco. History shows that the company typically ups its fees every half decade or so, and with the last increase coming in 2017, they're actually behind schedule for the next one. And we'll soon have to spend a few more bucks on our Costco bulk. What do you think of the picture on my new Costco card? Don't worry, be happy. There's an app that anyone can use. If the hassle of ID checks on every grocery trip seems too much on top of paying annual fees, Costco has a solution for 2024. Like many things in our lives, there's an app for that, and Costco has upped its app game to streamline your shopping experience. The Costco app stumbled out of the gate, sitting on a 2.3 star rating in app stores in its early days, but is now up to 4.7 thanks to the addition of in-app shopping lists that can be checked off, in-store product search engines, messaging capabilities, a larger search bar, and digital membership cards. Well, who doesn't love Costco? These computer changes brought about a 40% increase in unique visitors to the mobile site and a 46% increase in year-over-year -year app installs. But there are further tech improvements that should be on the way this year. Costco in general has been behind the technological times compared to other major stores. They didn't even have in-store price checking scanners until last fall, and their app is very much in the same boat. Unlike some of the competition, the Costco app does not feature real-time inventory lookup like Walmart, nor does it have the scan as you go and pay before you leave feature that is popular over at Sam's Club. Those improvements, alongside the ability to see fuel prices for nearby Costco gas stations, are expected in the coming months as the app moves forward, and Costco itself finally moves into the not-so-distant future. It's actually an upgrade. Fumbling the free samples. You promised free samples? We've seen plenty of what Costco has to offer in 2024, but watching about it will never be as good as the free samples you can get at the warehouse. While not the first or only store to entice buyers with a free nibble, Costco might be the most famous to do so thanks to friendly employees and a policy that won't limit you to just a single try if something tickles your taste buds. However, the free sample system is seeing an overhaul this year. Shoppers already reported changes last year that started to pick up towards year end and are expected to expand in 2024. But I don't like change. As opposed to a person offering samples like drinks in a cup, dips on a cracker, or meat on a toothpick, large oversized vending style dispensers have started showing up in stores. These contain pre-packaged snacks that forego the old method of fresh and hot foodstuff samples in favor of something shelf stable. Unfortunately, the new sample system severely limits the variety of samples customers can try, and there are already grumblings from Costco members that this new grab-and-go system should just go back to the way it was. If I could turn back time. Just like Costco, our videos come in bulk, so smash that subscribe button and become an official Babble Topper. Thanks. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the Costco connection here. More stores in 24. I can go to Costco! Costco's come a long way from its 1980s origins, and today has expanded to a global empire from its original West Coast beginnings. These days, Costco warehouses number in the triple digits globally and had 870 worldwide warehouses as of last November. They're quickly approaching the 900 threshold and plan to jump across that number this year after opening 23 new stores in 2023. Costco estimates that new store openings across their global wholesale empire will reach 31 in the calendar year.
year of 2024, and two existing stores will be relocated to new markets. Big plans. I'm going to Costco. Of those 31 new stores, almost all of them will be on American shores. Two dozen new locations will open across the USA, adding to the existing 600 mega marts that are already here. Far-flung locations opening this year include a Costco business center in Anchorage, Alaska in February, Zaragoza, Spain in May, and Jiangning, China in June. That'll be China's sixth Costco, adding to international numbers like the 100 stores in Canada, 40 in Mexico, 30 in Japan, and 30 in the United Kingdom. Even exotic locales like Sweden, New Zealand, and Iceland have one Costco location each, suggesting that no matter how far you roam, you'll never be far from Kirkland-branded products. Someone needs to go to Costco today. Costco goes colossal. Costco's always been known for going big, and the warehouses themselves have had to be just as big to fit all that bulk. The average American supermarket is somewhere around 40,000 square feet in size. But as you already know, Costco's no average Sunday shopping trip. Costco warehouses are literal warehouses, coming in at an average of 146,000 square feet each and nearly four times larger a square footage footprint than average supermarkets. Over the years, some chains have been ahead of the game with upsizing in certain locations like the Walmart Super Centers and the Super Target stores. But Costco is about to catch up. It's the largest audience I've ever performed for. And they're gonna go overboard to make up for lost time while they're at it. A new ginormous Costco is in the works in Fresno, California, with a proposed blueprint of just over 241,000 square feet. That would make it the biggest Costco ever built, a full 6,000 square feet larger than the current largest, which is located in Salt Lake City. City, Utah. The outside of the warehouse will be just as impressive as the inside with a sprawling 900 parking spots, a drive through car wash, and a Costco gas station with 32 pumps. Indoors, almost 50,000 square feet of the space will go solely to filling out online orders, like having an Amazon fulfillment center right in the building. And maybe ordering online from that center will be the best strategy, since the wait time for one of those 900 parking spots will probably be just as long. And I offer same-day free delivery. Coffee break. I want coffee breaks. I like coffee breaks now. After your big sugar crash from all those cookies, you might need a pick-me-up, and an after-dinner coffee might just do the trick. Whether night or day, some folks just gotta have their coffee and have it early and often. A 2023 Consumer Insights survey showed that a single cup to jumpstart the day is rarely enough for most Americans. And amongst coffee drinkers, more than 50% surveyed said they drink three or more cups of coffee a day, while 80% said they had at least two a day. Another! When chugging down the caffeine at that rate, you'd think it makes sense to hit up Costco for a bulk bag or box, and you'd be correct. Costco already carries both Kirkland Signature and Starbucks brands of coffee, but a new arrival for 2024 is Pete's Coffee Organic French Roast. The Pete's Coffee brand is from a specialty coffee retailer and roaster in San Francisco, and its coffee iteration comes in a pre-ground dark roast in a hefty two-pound bag. Advertised as smoky and bittersweet with hints of caramel, it's priced at $16.89 per bag. That's just over $8 a pound, and a little easier on the wallet than the barista brood kind. As long as I got a cup of coffee. Bulk breakfast. I actually prefer eating in bulk. If starting your day with a cup of joe isn't up your alley, there's nothing wrong with the old Saturday morning cartoon special, a bowl of cereal. The downside is that many of today's popular breakfast bowls contain as much or more sugar than some candy bars you can buy off the rack. Kellogg's even had to pay out $20 million for damages in a 2019 class action lawsuit and be legally obligated to refrain from using the words healthy, nutritious, benefits, or wholesome in certain ads and on certain cereal boxes. Oh, that cereal's just a metaphor. Founded in 2019, Magic Spoon cereal was sold online only, but they made it into supermarkets in 2022 thanks to some super science. 
The magic behind Magic Spoon is the elimination of the junk factor without eliminating the taste. The company has substituted high sugar content for healthy fats and higher protein content. Costco has now done what they do best and upsized the box and the bargain, carrying Magic Spoon this year in an extra-large 14-ounce box rather than the 7-ounce original size carried at other retailers. If breakfast is the most important meal of the day, you might as well make it a big one. I had a big breakfast. Baking it easy. I'm the store bakery? Sure, there are plenty of changes for things happening in and around Costco warehouses, but let's get to the stuff everybody really cares about, the food. We start with Costco's bakery, which we can all agree is good enough that it shouldn't need much of a change at all. From the 12-inch cheesecake and freshly baked breads to wondrous creations like chocolate peanut butter pie, cranberry almond bark, or confetti cookies, there's no shortage of mouth-watering sweets. And two new bakery arrivals for 2024 are on the path to keep that trend going. Debuting in January of this year, the first new edition kicks things off in a big way, literally, with a triple chocolate cream pie that weighs four pounds. Priced at $19.99 per cake, the treat is well-reviewed by customers and employees alike and backs up the size with a calorie count to match, clocking in at nearly 7,000 calories, which is just over 400 calories a serving slice. Bringing 10,000 calorie sugar bombs! Hi. It comes by that number honestly through its deliciousness, though, topping a graham cracker crust base with another support layer of fudge brownie, then lightening things up with a chocolate custard layer and a topper of whipped cream that is sprinkled with curled chocolate flakes. But if you want to cut back on the guilt, another January 2024 debut comes in a smaller size but is just as sweet. Joining lemon mini cakes and raspberry mini cakes, the new cookies and cream mini cakes have hit the Costco bakery and pack a big punch for a miniature treat. Sold for $8.99 in packs of six, mini cakes clock in at around half a pound each and are smaller than normal cakes but slightly larger than cupcakes. Give me cake. <laughs> Taking the cake. This takes the cake. If you prefer your desserts in the convenient prepackaged style, there are new options there, too. Released in February this year, the Melagati brand Pandora Limoncello Cake is an addition to the previous Panettone Italian cake line. Panettone is a cake similar to an oversized muffin, which is a traditional Christmas cake in Italy. Costco has previously carried these under the De Milan brand as far back as 2022 in pistachio cream and Milano variations. And while they are traditionally for the holidays, they can show up anytime throughout the winter months. The 2024 release of Pandora Limoncello is a lemon cream version that carries 26 ounces of holiday happiness for $9.49. They sell Christmas stuff all year round. Much like at the bakery, if this full-sized cake is too much to handle, there's a prepackaged smaller option that'll definitely do the trick. Also new for February 2024 are the Oulala Made in France Maison Jacques Mart mini almond cakes that bring a taste of Paris to your palate. The 1.3 pound bag carries 24 individual individually wrapped, soft, and moist mini cakes, and the whole thing retails for $7.99. No matter which one you choose, breaking those New Year's resolutions will definitely be worth it. Dumb guy eats bread, gets fat, the end. Pack it up. I just packed a giant Tupperware order. With all those delicious Costco dessert choices, it's understandable if you want to take some with you whenever you leave the house. Enter another availability at Costco that started in February this year, the two-pack Pro Keeper Deli Keeper set. Each tub holds up to seven cups of just about anything in addition to those baked goods, including up to three pounds of sliced bacon or deli meats or even cheese and whole sandwiches. The plastic tubs are dishwasher safe and BPA-free, and the lids keep an airtight seal on whichever Costco goods you're filling them with and are priced at $13.99 per set of two. Of course, if you want to go all out on your Costco shopping spree, those smaller containers just won't cut it. Larger storage options also returned in February in the form of some familiar favorites that have come and gone at Costco over the years. You really think she could fit in there? Igloo coolers have returned to Costco for 2024. A mid-sized 62-quart Igloo Max Cold Roller Cooler features a telescoping handle and wheeled convenience to pack in your snacks. Or in the case of frosty beverages, up to 98 cans of your favorite that'll stay cool for up to four days. 
This one retails for $49.99, but the king of coolers will put a larger dent in your wallet. The giant-sized 165-quart Max Cold Chest Cooler boasts seven-day ice retention and enough space for almost 300 canned drinks, as well as three compartments inside to keep all those thirst quenchers properly organized. But whether you're leaving Costco with an upgraded cart full of snacks or full of drinks, this year gives you no shortage of options for carrying them everywhere you might want to go. I couldn't fit everything in that you wanted. DIY Dessert It Yourself Hey everyone! Dessert's on me! Thanks to Costco, you can do dessert without ever stepping out of the house. New to Costco as of January 2024, the Ninja Creamy Deluxe 11-in-1 Ice Cream and Frozen Treat Maker brings a whole new meaning to the saying, home sweet home. With the ability to turn just about anything from your freezer or fridge into an ice cream, milkshake, or even sorbet, the Ninja Creamy Deluxe gives you full customization of your cold concoctions. Included are a set of two 24-ounce pints with their own storage lids, and these deluxe-sized pints hold 50% more ice cream than this machine's predecessors in the Ninja Creamy line. Needs more ice cream. It also has newly added features to make Italian ice, slush, frozen yogurt, and a unique treat they call Creamy Chino. The professional-level creamerizer system features dual-drive motors that shave ice into these various treats and also has a respin feature that takes your creation for another round of processing for even creamier textures. And the included recipe inspiration guide will meet the needs of all diets and tastes, including dairy-free, keto, vegan, and low-sugar recipes. The whole operation sells for $79.99 and will definitely save you a few trips to the ice cream parlor. A Garden of Delights Delighted Appearing on the shelves at the start of this year, Kirkland Organic Fruit and Vegetable Pouches provide an organic option that still leaves a satisfying sweetness without the overload of some of the other new options we've seen. Available in 5-pound boxes of 24 packs for $11.99, these 3-ounce pouches come in apple, strawberry, spinach, and apple, mango, yellow, carrot, peach flavors. Both gluten-free and kosher with no added sugar, they're packed with certified USDA organic produce. You got this Kosher certified? The apple strawberry spinach version is 60 calories per serving, while the apple mango yellow carrot peach mix is 10 calories less at 50 per serving. Great for snacks, light lunches, or yes, guilt-free desserts, these powerful pouches are versatile enough to please both kids and adults and keep that New Year's resolution of watching that waistline intact, at least for a little while. I got bigger things to worry about than my waistline. The best of both worlds. You'll face my world. Costco's got another new treat that arrived this year, and it combines the organic goodness of the Kirkland Organic Fruit and Vegetable Pouches with the sweetness of just about any treat, be they prepackaged or bakery style, that you'd find at the warehouse. Enter Newman's own Newman O's, a new organic sandwich cookie that's got all the Oreo awesomeness without sacrificing your dessert for a fruit pouch. The Newman's Own brand was founded by actor Paul Newman in 1982, starting with a line of salad dressing that eventually became a full-blown juggernaut of everything from salsa and fruit juice to pasta and popcorn. Its organic division began in 1993 before being successful enough to branch off as its own company in 2001. And in 2024, they're the ones bringing this dessert to life. I'll have to call Paul Newman and ask him. Made with organic flour and organic sugar, the Costco bulk boxes have a total of 104 cookies in each three and a quarter pound box, dividing the treats into four packs of 26. The whole colossal cookie carrier retails for $14.89 each. The price tag will make you feel as good as the organic ingredients do, and so will knowing that 100% of the profits from each box are donated to children's charities. The cookies themselves carry all the hallmarks of the famous sandwich cookie, including the patterned cookie tops with the word Newman in the middle where you might traditionally see Oreo, and a creamy middle thick enough to rival even double stuff Oreos. Who knew organic anything could ever taste so good? It's a cookie. Stick around, leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you, and tap or click to watch another great video.